What is wrong with this world that William Wyatt gives people opportunities? Well, this is singles competition. Hush Holiday representing Quiet Riot facing William Wyatt representing the Asian. You know, Wyatt and Chris Caden have had quite the rivalry all over the tri state area back in 2011. Now, 2012. Yeah, Wyatt looking to keep it going here is Wyatt and Hush one think, on one. I think Wyatt finally got the rest of Caden's blood off his singlet. See, we have this right here. William Wyatt's chance, right? All right, in front of us. So, someone has had to pay. Anybody chanting for William Wyatt had to be paid off by William Wyatt. Wyatt is a scumbag. He's not to be trusted. He's a sick, sick human being. You're just jealous because I'm he has not a jealous belt. of William Wyatt. He's a jerk. He has a belt. What are you using there? Was that a shoelace? Oh, nice. Hip toss from Hush Holiday. You know, the one thing about Hush, he uses that motivation, the fact that he cannot talk, he cannot speak, he cannot hear. He uses it to his advantage, he stays focused on the ring at all times. Nice lucha maneuver there by Hush Holiday. Wyatt can't believe it, Wyatt going to the floor to take a breather, very unlike William Wyatt. Holiday definitely has the speed advantage in this. Whoa! His body out to the floor. Whether or not you win this thing, You've got to decide how you're going to walk out of here when it's all said and done. Because the game is going to go on. And there's only one rule you're going to need to know about. There are no second chances. There's only this moment and the next moment. Every one of those moments is a test that you get to take one time and only one time. So if you see an opening, tear into it. If you get a shot at victory, make damn sure you take it. Seize that moment. That moment is a crossroads where everything you want will collide with everything standing in your way. You've got momentum at your back. Fear and doubt are thundering like a freight train straight at you. And all you got the only difference between making history and being history, the only thing, the only thing you can count on in any given moment is you. It's you versus them. You versus no. You versus can't. You versus next year, last year, statistics, excuses. It's you versus history. Versus the odds. It's you versus second place. Clock is ticking. Let's see what you've got. Yeah. 
And now, American Championship Entertainment presents the fourth annual, the fifth annual, the sixth annual, the seventh annual, the eighth annual, Crossroads. Hello, my name is Danny Moff, former ace, pro wrestling, two-time heavyweight champion. I would like to make an announcement. Ace Pro Wrestling, Mike Morgan, myself, and a whole horse of breed of different professional wrestlers are joining forces with a group called Ponte Palo Positivo. Ponte Palo Positivo is a group that was formed to fight against the forces of bullying and domestic violence. These are two things that we don't need in society today. Join us in the fight to make things right. Stay strong, stay proud. Ponte duro, ponte fuerte. But most important, ponte para positivo. Ponte para positivo punto com. Go to the site, check it out. Thank you very much. This is Danny Miles signing off. Two time ace heavyweight champion. Thank you very much. We all know at the uh, next day show we have a picture point where uh, I actually get to choose challenger for Mr. Scott and he gets to choose mine. Now, I thought about this long and hard, but there's only one guy. My pick for Scott Cade You see, I was going to wait to the show to tell everyone who I picked from off. I think now would be more appropriate to let everyone know who damn I will be facing. I always have a seat up my sleeve. Let's see what happens when Dickie Rod has to take on Dan Ma. Contract Ma signed states it must be a competitive match. Because if it isn't, it will be no title match for Ma. Running crossbody off the apron by Hush Holiday. And this man really keeping it up here. A lot of fans liking what they see. They're getting behind Hush. And the fans that William Wyatt paid off hate it. Only two, says referee Chris Shady Torres. You know, again, Wyatt's ambition is to ruin Chris Caden's life. And now he's facing Caden's tag team partner and Hush Holiday is going to show Wyatt really wants to pick apart Hush to teach Chris Caden a lesson. Big clubbing blows right to the back of Hush Holiday. Look at Wyatt here, really going to work. And now Wyatt going right, right to a submission hold. Wyatt leaning that lower base onto the back of Holiday while pulling his chin back. It's like a combination chin lock and camel clutch. You know, I am really in awe here of this class of Mikey D. No one likes William Wyatt, but apparently he's paid off some fans to cheer for him. I liked it. I like it. It shows diversity in our fans. It also proves you wrong, which is a double bonus. Good grief. On the outside, though, for Hush, he can't hear the, che the, the cheers. And he, he doesn't, he doesn't let distracted. it Exactly. He does not let it bother him when he's in his squared circle. Wyatt now. Nice back elbow on Holiday. Wyatt now looking for a cover. You know, I will say this about William Wyatt. He's been the most consistent wrestler on the ace roster. The man who is the longest reigning web television champion in ace history. One year he held that belt. Isn't that why they actually got rid of the belt? Because, I mean, no. who can ever compare? No, they unified that the belt and the light heavyweight belt to make the Diamond Division title. Because no one could compare to William Wyatt. Good grief. 
There's a cover. Again, Wyeth held holding the Ace Tag Team Championships with three different partners. Hollywood Joe Hardway, Jorge Luis Rivera, and now Tom Scanlon. Your friend, Tom Scanlon. He's not my friend. Big stalling suplex. Wyatt showing some technical skill. You know, maybe the Ace of Hearts, Tom Scanlon, wearing off on him a little bit as Wyatt does a great technical maneuver, something he's not been known to do. I can't help but notice William Wyatt. You know, he came in the building wearing a $3,000 suit, got a fresh haircut. All three of them. You're so full of it, Classic. You're so full of it. And meanwhile, I don't get this. Wyeth now having that rear chin lock. It's Holiday nailing some back elbows to get out of it. Bouncing off the ropes. Hush with a nice shoulder block. Surprising Wyeth. I think Wyeth expected something else. Holiday with a clothesline. Hush with another one. Hush Holiday looking for the upset. Holiday unleashing a little quiet riot of his own. There's a cover. Only two, says referee Shady Torres. Holiday now picking up Wyatt. Nice snap, belly to back suplex there by Holiday. Holiday looking for another cover. Wyatt kicks out at two. What a suplex from Holiday. Picked up Wyatt and slammed him down hard to the canvas. Yeah, I did sit down with Hush Holiday. You know, exchanged some. And he uh -oh. actually, he did, he did respond to some questions. I asked him about his training regimen. He said that when he goes to the gym, he doesn't have to listen to all the juice heads that are around him and everybody that are around him that, that, that can give a distraction. Oh. So he does focus a lot. So it's no surprise that he was able to, to do that snap belly to back. But he lost focus oh, on the hush elbow and it hits fall from grace. Wyatt with the fall from grace. And Wyatt wins this contest. Fans right very much are on their feet. Can you see this, John? Well, the majority of the Ace fans know about how much of a scallywag Wyatt is. Regardless, William Wyatt picks up the victory. This is Wellington, New Jersey. This is not Union City. William Wyatt picking up a big win. I can't believe this. William Wyatt with the win. Wyatt with a big win here. Wyatt looking for what? He's extending a hand. Wait, William Wyatt is. What is going on here? Wyatt. Something's weird here. Wyatt looking for a right. Are my eyes deceiving me, Classic Mikey D? Are they deceiving me? I've never seen I don't William know. Wyatt show respect. You before. just sat here and called this man a scallywag. He is a scallywag. He's a good sport. He's a good sport. This is chapter two of Ace, a new era has begun. So we're talking about a new era, we're talking about a new beginning, we're talking about the second chapter of Ace. We might not be in Union City, but Ace is home here. to decide how you're going to walk out of here when it's all said and done because the game is going to go on and there's only one rule you're going to need to know about there are no second chances there's only this moment and the next moment every one of those moments is a test that you get to take one time 
and only one time. So if you see an opening, tear into it. If you get a shot at victory, make damn sure you take it. Seize that moment. That moment is a crossroads where everything you want will collide with everything standing in your way. You've got momentum at your back. Fear and doubt are thundering like a freight train straight at you. And all you got, the only difference between making history and being history, the only thing, the only thing you can count on in any given moment is you. The you versus them. You versus no. You versus can't. You versus next year, last year, statistics, excuses. You versus history. You versus the odds. It's you versus second place. Clock is ticking. Let's see what you've got. And now, American Championship Entertainment presents the fourth annual, the fifth annual, the sixth annual, the seventh annual, the eighth annual, Crossroads. We all know at the uh, next day show we have a picket point where uh, I actually get to choose the challenger for Mr. Scott here. He gets to choose mine. Now, I thought about this moment, but there's only one guy. My pick for stockade. Okay. You see, I was going to wait to the show to tell everyone who I picked for mine, but I think now would be more appropriate to let everyone know who damn I will be facing. I always have a seat up my sleeve. Let's see what happens when Dickie Rod has to take on Dan Ma. Contract Ma signed, states it must be a competitive match. Because if it isn't, it will be no title match for Ma. Points in the positive!
I'm F and B. I'm Anton Bonico. I'm Jamal Jackson. And, and we are in the movement. And you're shifting into overdrive. The following contest is our main event. Scheduled for a one for one hour time limit, and it is a triple threat match for the Ace Heavyweight Championship. You're referee, Big Jose. This is the match we've all been waiting for. It's for the Ace Heavyweight Championship. Who's gonna get the job done? Will it be Jorge Luis Rivera? Will it be? The sadistic striker stockade, or will it be Eddie Kingston? And here comes the leader of the apparent New Age Wrecking Crew. The Berserker Stockade getting his first Ace Heavyweight Championship match, courtesy of the Commissioner Mo Sexton. You know, Stockade literally has worked his way up the Ace roster. He was a tag champion, a Diamond Division champion. But after a new era has begun, Stockade straight up said it. I want to become Ace Heavyweight Champion. He ruined Kingston versus Rivera to do it. Of course, with him, as always, the beautiful Nikki Six. Oh, are you kidding me? She got the face only a mother could love, and I doubt her mother likes that makeup job. It's better than yours. Who did her makeup, Helen Keller? I think it was Hush, actually. Hush can see. I don't think he can see. I don't think he would even do that bad of a job. But here comes participant number two, the War King, the last of a dying breed, the King of Diamonds. And you make fun of me for Bobby for Bobby Fish's monikers. Eddie kicks in a stockade, no love lost. And they're gonna start this thing before Rivera. These two men have fought over the Diamond Division Championship all over 2011. Go right after the eyes. Rivera hasn't even come out, the match hasn't even started yet, and these guys are going at it. Kingston and Stockade, no love lost. Hey, Zeva! It's Jorge Luis Rivera! You can tell automatically this is going to be a straight up brawl. The champion from Guayanilla, Puerto Rico, Jorge Luis Rivera. The king of diamonds, Eddie Kingston, and the leader of the New Age Wrecking Crew, Stockade. It's going to be a straight up fist fight. The Berserker Stockade, of course, probably the hungriest of all these men. How many nicknames does Stockade have? I don't know. And a double team work there by champion and challenger number one. Kingston getting a chair, going after Nikki. But no! Oh, there goes Rivera with a throat thrust. There's no love lost between these men. Stockade measuring Rivera, who's distracted by six. Oh! And remember this, ladies and gentlemen, in a triple threat match, in a three-way dance, the champion does not have to be pinned to lose the Ace Heavyweight Championship. Eddie Kingston looking for some stuff under the ring. And especially for a triple threat match, the champion has less of a percentage rate to be to retain the belt. Jorge Luis Rivera has a 66.7% chance of losing the Ace Heavyweight title. Uh oh, King wait a minute. Kingston's got a wrench. And I don't think he's looking to help them to tighten the ropes with it. You know, notice by their absence, the new member of the New Age Wrecking Crew, Smith James and Vince Steele nowhere to be found. They're kind of hard guys to miss, you know. If you think about it, Rivera and, and Kingston both have to watch out. You know, we know Stockade can't handle it on his, on his own, but he has a lot of backup in those two. Kingston, nice right hand right upside the head of Stockade. The Ace Nation trying to will the Ace Heavyweight Champion back to his feet. Kingston just got dropped on that shoulder. But right now, Stockade going right to work on the King of Diamonds. Now Stockade going right to work on the champ. I think Stockade wants to pin the champion. That's 290 across the chest cavity of the Ace Heavyweight Champion. St 
Stockade, not a small man, to say the very least. You know, Stockade is very similar to a guy like Mike Donovan, except using the left side of things, but Stockade throws more brutal strikes. Plus, Stockade's about two Donovans. It's indeed true. Stockade, a big man, also a very, a very vicious man. He doesn't care about this, this match deteriorates to a bowling shoe ugly brawl. He doesn't give a damn. Kingston trying to get back in, but caught a left kick of his own. Stockade. Nice snapmare takeover. And again, you know, I know Stockade out of, you know, so I, I've said Stockade was in 2010, had a hard time trying to distinguish himself from being a tag team's competitor. He did a damn good job of it last year, winning the Diamond Division title. Kingston, and Kingston just tried to come back in with the wrench and, and, and get, got cut off. Sorry to cut you off. Whether or not you win this thing, you've got to decide how you're going to walk out of here when it's all said and done. Because the game is going to go on. And there's only one rule you're going to need to know about. There are no second chances. There is only this moment and the next moment. Every one of those moments is a test that you get to take one time and only one time. So if you see an opening, tear into it. If you get a shot at victory, make damn sure you take it. Seize that moment. That moment is a crossroads where everything you want will collide with everything standing in your way. You've got momentum at your back. Fear and doubt are thundering like a freight train straight at you. And all you got, the only difference between making history and being history, the only thing, the only thing you can count on in any given moment is you. It's you versus them. You versus no. You versus can't. You versus next year, last year, statistics, excuses. You versus history. You versus the odds. It's you versus second place. Clock is ticking. Let's see what you got. And now, American Championship Entertainment presents the fourth annual, the fifth annual, the sixth annual, the seventh annual, the eighth annual, Crossroads. You all know at the uh, next day show we have a picket point where uh, I actually get to choose the challenger for Mr. Scott here. Gets to choose mine. Now, I thought about this moment, but there's only one guy. My pick for Stockade. Okay. You see, I was going to wait to the show to tell everyone who I picked them off. I think now would be more appropriate to let everyone know who Dan Ma will be facing. I always have a seat of my sleeve. Let's see what happens when Dickie Rod has to take on Dan Ma. Contract Ma signed states it must be a competitive match. Because if it isn't, it will be no title match for Ma. Johnson, the current 
defending East Diamond Division champion, East Pro Wrestling, and I'm here to bring a message today against bullying. Together, we can put a stop to bullying, domestic violence, and child abuse. All we need to do is to remember to join together and put yourself towards a positive. Ponte con lo positivo. a three count, only getting a two. Stockade ripping, ripping at the face of Jorge Luis Rivera. And remember, in a triple threat match, there are no disqualifications. Kingston back now with a big back chop. Oh, cool. Kingston lighting him up. Multiple chops. Wanting a little round of applause, gets it. Oh, and a big one. Kingston, now delivering a headbutt right to the cranium of Rivera. Stockade reversing the Irish whip, nice kick to the knee. Oh, big running knee. That was vicious in his delivery. I thought that he might have knocked out the last of a dying breed. I swear to you, Nikki Six is gonna cause me to have a ruptured eardrum with her vocal cord screaming that loud. Oh! oh! Holy crap! Good grief! Stockade's- oh my god! The back of Stockade's head just cracked against the top turnbuckle, and behind that pad is solid steel. I think he actually caught the, the, the turnbuckle support, that, that, that steel beam that connects to the ropes. Regardless, Stockade might be out cold. Big diving elbow from the second. whip -a. Nice maneuver there from Rivera. <laughs> Only two, says referee Big Jose. Rivera, one of the three. What a fight. What a night here in Wallington, New Jersey. I don't even know how Stockade's moving. I thought he was knocked out cold by that steal. Pure adrenaline between those two, between that man. Kingston with a chop and a headbutt. Kingston trying to fight out of this here. He's trying to fight out of the state he's in. Whoa! Rivera using some underrated agility. Only getting two off that springboard crossbody. That might be the first time in ages I've seen Rivera do that classic. Kingston seems a little, little lost and was surprised on that. Oh, here's Stockade back in now. What a right hand. Straight right hand puts him right down. It's Kingston, though. You're an Augie from Kingston. Only two, but Stockade went for the kick out. I think you might hit Rivera a little low. Might have punched him right square in the lower extremities when he kicked out. Stockade with a chop, but Kingston with a simple but effective thumb to the eyes. Kingston can cheat. We, we've seen him cheat in the past. There's no disqualification. You said so yourself. But regardless, Kingston don't give a damn. He'll cheat if he has to. That's the reason that he's lasted as long. That's why he is the last of a dying breed. Kingston sticking to what works. Going to those open hand, backhand chops. Oh, look at the elevation. Oh. Kicked him right in the bread basket. Able to telegraph that sunset flip into his, a, a pin of his own in Kingston. Oh, fades to black. 
Stockade's won matches with that DDT. No. I thought we had a new champion there, and I don't think Nikki can believe it either. Can this girl, like, lose her voice or something? The Black Rose Nikki Six. She couldn't believe it. Fist of the future. Rivera might be out. Super kick. Oh. Sit out, choke bomb. Oh. Kicks in, kicks out. Oh. What a match here, Wallington for the Ace Heavyweight Title. Stockade tried to wait. The figure to quattro. The figure to quattro. Figure four. Can he lock it? If he can get his leg over, he gets it. He has it. It's a double whammy for Stockade. If he doesn't tap out, he might actually be him to be pinned. Because it also counts as a pinning attempt. Will, will Stockade get to the ropes, Classic? Stockade's trying to get to the ropes. Kingston knows getting back to his feet. <laughs> Kingston tried to steal the That pin. was smart from Eddie Kingston. Wait, wait. Whoa. It's a new age record crew with stealing James. <laughs> Kingston now Rivera forever versus the Irish whip. Chop to the chest. James and, and James is pointing stuff out to, to steal. Back, back elbow, meanwhile, in the ring. Oh! Good Lord Almighty, Kingston with a dive! But he landed on that knee. Kingston's weak that right knee. You know, Kingston has had a history of knee Stockade. problems. Spear! Spear! No! 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 We have a new champion! We have a new champion! The Wrecking Crew came out. They, they did not get, Kingston. They did not get in this match. Kingston lost focus. Now the Wrecking Crew's coming in. I cannot believe it. Stockade is a new champion. Now the New Age Wrecking Crew. Emerald Fusion from James. Somebody's got to get out here. No! Splash! Oh, now they're gonna let the Jezebel get a shot in? Kingston saying, oh my ribs, he might have broken ribs. Referee Brian Young coming out here now. Oh, on oh, a kiss of death from the Black Rose. Kings to get that broken ribs. Go in a spear! The New Age Wrecking Crew. Kingston's favoring his ribs. Stockade directing traffic saying, get him out of my ring. Stockade has won the Ace Heavyweight title. I am still in utter disbelief. Stockade is a triple crown. Stockade has literally climbed the top of the Ace Mountain, and he is the new Ace Heavyweight Champion. You want redemption, you just got it. Stockade has climbed the Ace Ladder in a matter of two and a half years. He was a saint of brutality. He was a fallen man, and now, he is the champion of a New Age Wrecking Crew. Congratulations, Stockade. You are the New Ace Heavyweight Champion. And if you want redemption and Ace, you just got it. With a new Ace Heavyweight Champion. For Classic Mikey D, I'm John Harder. It is indeed a New Age and American Champion.
Championship Entertainment.